Today we're going to show how Silence Protect protects against USB malware, notably Rubber Ducky and Bash Bunny. So these have been around for a while, and really there are various attacks using USB devices. Now they can masquerade as a keyboard or a mouse, or they can actually just be recognized as a USB memory stick. So these are very, very damaging because they're attacks which never happened prior to being generated at the endpoint. So first we're going to go into our Windows victim. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a USB key. Now this might be something we found in the parking lot or something somebody left on our desk. And in a moment, what you'll notice is that something is going to automatically execute. So I didn't type anything, but automatically we see the PowerShell is being executed. Now something to remember here, even if we disable USB memory sticks, this type of attack can actually masquerade itself as a keyboard or a mouse. Wow, what just happened there? Now what we're doing for this demo is we're actually showing what happened. In reality, we're not going to see all this. All this is going to happen in the background. We have Silence Protect running in detect-only mode. So we didn't block this attack, but we did detect it. Now we're going to scroll up and you'll see my passwords. And this poor victim had all of his or her passwords that were pulled. Uh-oh. Now let's go into a protected machine. Again, we're going to insert our USB key. And note that we do not have device protection turned on, so we're not actively blocking USB keys that are inserted. But that really wouldn't matter anyway, and we'll explain that in a moment. Why not? In this case, when it tries to execute the attack, what we'll see is that Silence Protect is actually going to block the attack. And as we can see here, Silence blocked PowerShell. So again, this was a fileless attack that never existed before being automatically created on the device. Now when we go into our dashboard, there's going to be something very interesting here. We're going to go into our victim machine and what we'll see is two exploit attempts. And these exploit attempts were the two different situations, the unprotected machine and then the protected machine. And we can finally see the PowerShell portion of this attack. So note that we block the PowerShell execution for malicious purposes. Now let's move on to the rubber ducky victim. So here we're going to go into our victim machine again put another USB key in, and what you'll see in a second is that this too is going to try to execute. What we find is that it's going to create a piece of malware dynamically. So this is even worse than fileless malware. This is actually malware which didn't even exist until after we placed something in the USB port. Now the only reason that we're showing this is that we want to actually illustrate what's happening. In the real world, users are never going to see this. They're never going to know actually what happened. Now once a machine's compromised, the user's not actually going to notice anything. But we have full control of this machine using our attacker. And you'll notice here that we can go in through Metasploit, see the sessions, and then actually take control of the victim machine, at which point we can really do anything we want to. The next step, unfortunately, is taking over the computer and exfiltrating data. And that's really, really dangerous. Finally, let's see how Silence Protect protects against Rubber Ducky. So we're going to insert a USB device, and again, this is going to automatically launch and create a piece of malware. Now in real life, again, this isn't going to happen. We're just doing this for the demo purposes. But when it tries to execute the script, Silence Protect blocks it. And that happens in a matter of a split second pre-execution. And here we'll show that there's no executable. We've killed it. Now let's go into our dashboard to see how Silence Protect actually blocked the rubber ducky attempt. Again, we find our victim machine. We're going to go to script control what we can see is that the attack that was unsuccessful 
Silence Protect identified and blocked at the script. And also we can see more of the story. So as we go back and forth, we can see that Service Host was actually attempted to be injected. So in summary, Silence Protect recognizes and blocks malware, pre-execution. It runs silently in the background. It can stop files attacks and even attacks which never existed prior to being generated by a script. Device control, which we didn't show here, can whitelist good or blacklist rogue devices. You don't have to worry about remediation because no cleanup is required, and in this case, no cleanup of compromised credentials.